Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a tutorial of how I built this really functional uh, kitchen setup, starting with the sink. So this sink here, this is just a small mixing bowl from the dollar store. I attached uh, this little plug, which came with this drain. This is um, just a simple drain for actually a bathroom sink. They're kind of specific. And it's a tension fit with a rubber seal right here. And so I've just tensed, like tighten that up. And then I actually siliconed it as well. I made the mistake of buying one with a, uh, you can see possibly there's a, like a couple holes in there. That's for an overflow. So this rubber seal actually seals those over hole, overflow holes over, which is convenient. Um, but try to get one that doesn't have that. I then used a, uh, so this is a one and a quarter inch. And I then used a one inch, um, just mail to mail and put it in there. And then I just epoxied it, which gives it a really good seal as well and some strength. And then I used, um, it's really hard to find this this kind of clear tubing um, in any big sizes. It gets very expensive. This is three quarter inch and I just used a lighter and I heated up this edge here and pushed it onto here until it just stretched and uh, went on. Um, it could have, I could have done a better job, but I just used one of these things afterwards to really seal it on there. And then uh, following that along, I just used a bent strong tie, which I used a lot in this build, to have this go. And it actually needs to be, you can see there's a little bit of water chilling in here. It actually needs to go a little bit differently. This needs to, yeah, go down like that. No, up like that. I don't know. Either way, it needs to move a little bit. Um, and uh, this just goes around and into the gray water bucket. So that's the sink setup, and this is my water. So no pump necessary. Another bent strong tie up here keeps it suspended. And then you have actually gravity pulling the water down, which gives you pressure. So you can wash in here and actually have good water pressure without a pump. Very, very simple. Um, you can pla place this in and you know fill up water as, as you need it. Um, one thing I did was to get this kind of level, it's still a tiny little bit off, but what I did with my, my kitchen setup here is I used this piece of driftwood. You could just use a regular piece of wood as well. And I used a jigsaw to cut a hole in it. And then I placed this in with a lot of pressure. You can see it actually bent out a little bit right here. And then I just siliconed around to seal this off. So that's, it's nice and strong in there, it's tight. Um, and you can really just kind of level it out. It's slightly off, but it's it's pretty dang close. So moving on here, we have the butane stove, which I've just mounted using these tiny little uh, pieces of metal and some screws on either side. So it, uh, this thing moves around a little bit when you're driving, but it's um, the whole thing doesn't. And then I, I made it have enough room to be able to pull that out and get access to it. I then used L brackets here to build a shelf, a suspended shelf underneath. And this is actually pushed against the wheel well. And uh, this, I actually, there's a tiny little screw there that you guys probably can't see. Um, and that goes directly into this board below and keeps this whole thing just uh, riding along. Just kind of tuck some things back there that uh, you might need. This is just food storage, camping dishes, things that you need for a kitchen. And then using another L bracket, I've put a support beam that's pushed against the floor here. And um, that's the whole kitchen setup. Super, super functional and simple.